Everybody and welcome to Medico Awesome. This is our top 10 series where we describe one particular drug with 10 interesting facts about it every day. So let's get started. The drug we've chosen for today is Amphotericin B. And the first thing we'll be talking about is mechanism of action, which is twofold. One is it perforates the sterol membrane of the fungi. And next is that it causes oxidative damage to the fungus. It can be used as a sidle drug or as a static drug, depending on what concentration of Amphotericin B is being used. So a static or sidle depending on its concentration. Number two, it got, it's got an extremely poor oral absorption and it's excreted mainly via the kidneys. Number three, the routes of administration. It can be administered systemically by intravenous route and IM route is possible but is extremely painful so it's not preferred. Other than this, it can be given intravitrally as an ointment preparation and as a subconjunctival injection. All of these are topical preparations. Number four is the form. So amphotericin B has some specific forms. These include deoxycholate form, which is the one used regularly, and two other forms. One of them is a lipid formulation and the other one is a liposomal formulation. The, the, the liposomal formulation is also called ambisome and both of these are very expensive. Number five is the most important, the, the fungal spectrum of amphotericin B. A simple way to remember this would be A, B, C, D. A stands for aspergillus, B stands for blastomyces, C there are two things, the one first one is cryptococcal meningitis and the next one is coccidioides and D stands for demetiaceous fungi demetiaceous fungi basically produce chromoblastomycosis along with this there is something special about amphotericin B ok so you can remember that A B C D E E stands for EDM and the famous EDM band is SHM so this stands for sporothrix H stands for histoplasma and M stands for muco M stands for muco now point number seven, candida. So candida, it is useful only in higher doses for candidiasis. Uh, it's preferred only for severe systemic candidiasis or if there's ocular candidiasis in the form of an ulcer. Other than this, it's used for two parasites, which is a rather special point. One is leishmaniasis, that is Kala Azar. And the other one is Neglaria fowleri, causing primary amoebic meningoencephalitis or PAM. So it's used for these two also. The two parasites are PAM, that is Leishmania and Neglaria. Number seven, it causes electrolyte disturbances. It causes hypokalemia and hypomagnesemia. Number eight, it causes nephrotoxicity. Number nine, it can cause hepatotoxicity and along with that it can cause GI toxicity in the form of hemorrhagic gastritis. And the last one is its interaction with any drugs that are nephrotoxic or decrease potassium levels. So it must be used in caution with all of these drugs. So this for you is amphotericin B. And I hope you like the video. Thank you.